Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about the League of Legends semifinals. Man, it's it is has come down to the World's Tournament semifinals already. Um, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday. We have T1 versus JG, JDG and then DRX versus Gen G uh, happening right down in Atlanta, where I'm heading to tonight. Um, there's going to be a tailgate, as you can see on the screen, um, but um, to tonight and then hopefully, you know, if you guys go there or go to the semifinals tomorrow um, or Sunday, let me know. I'd be happy to, you know, um, buy a drink. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's going to be a very exciting time down in Atlanta. Um, so, yeah, let's dive in. So as I mentioned, um, tomorrow it's T1 versus JDG. I'll go over both semifinals. Um, as you know, uh, T1 beat RNG 3-0, and then JDG beat Rogue um, in their respective semifinals. T1 has been very impressive. I think their form, uh, they've been regaining their form uh, just right at the right time. Um, and JDG, I think, has been much, much better in team fights, uh, better than anybody else, any other team in the whole tournament. Um, as you see here, um, you see JDG beating Rogue 3 nothing, T1 beating RNG 3 nothing. So both teams pretty dominant in their respective series. Um, for me at least, um, T1 I thought had a you know tougher opponent in RNG. Um, but RNG really couldn't do anything, especially in game one and three. Um, T1 just dominated. In game two, RNG had a sizable lead. Um, and then T1 come, came back and won that game and then had the, all the momentum in the world going into game three and they just finished the series. Um, and then JDG really didn't look at, threatened, really. Um, I think Rogue, like I said, I think I mentioned this on, on my previous video, but um, JDG did a really good job banning out champions against Rogue's jungler Ma Rang. Um, and JDG had a very good jungle, has a very, very good jungler, probably not, if not the best jungler in the world remaining in Kanavi. Um, so I think JDG had a very favorable matchup there, as mentioned on my previous video. And then T1 did a really good job just overall as a team. I mean, Zeus being Zeus, best, best top laner, if not the best player in the tournament remaining. Um, and then jungler owner stepped up his game. And then the bottom lane is gaining, regaining their form with Karia and Gumayushi playing well. Um, and I think that's going to be the interesting matchup here for T1 and JDG. I think Gumayushi and Karia. Karia, pick, pick, you know, picking out uh, Heimerdinger, uh, like a, you know, pocket champion that we've seen before out of Damwon Kia, but still, I mean, pulling that out in game one of that series against RNG was very, very ballsy and uh, impressive. Um, I like where their mind is at and they, they, they're relaxed. They're not, you know, rigid, uh, like they used to be how T1 used to be. Um, I like T1's free form, much better free spirit. Faker looks like he's enjoying himself much more than previous worlds. Um, I like that's what's scary about T1. And I think JDG swim condition is really through the jungler Kanavi and the mid lane and top lane really putting in a lot of resources and then late game carries by hope and missing. Um, I do think T1 will win this. Um, I have T1 three to one. Um, so I'll put it here maybe. Uh, semi finals prediction. T1 JDG. I have T1 wins. Three to two. I like T1's um maybe three to one. Um I just think um like I said, top lane matchup between Zeus and 369. I like T1 better there. Um and then in jungle, I'll have to favor Kanavi for JDG. Um, but owner has been pretty good. And then in the mid lane, I'll have to give an edge to Yakao in the mid lane for JDG. But in the bottom lane, where I think will be the difference, main difference, I think Hope and Missing's uh, form has, hasn't has been that great, whereas Gumayushi and Karius' form has been awesome so far, especially in that RNG series. I think there were times in game two where T1 just could not, you know, 
uh, have a win condition, but really their only win condition was through Gumayushi. So I like Gumayushi's form and Karia's form. So I think that's going to help them prevail in the series. I think T1 wins 3 to 1. All right, I have DRX versus Gen G. This one's pretty easy, I think. I know DRX has been very hot, and really they got, um, they really outplayed AEDG in the whole series. You know, game two where they had the, they had one hit left on the Nexus, and the their the EDG's inhibitor res respond. Um, that was something to watch, but um, DRX outplayed them. But at the end of the day, I was very impressed with Gen G uh, over Dalman Kia. I really think Dom and Kia played probably the best game of their, I think they play their ceiling game against Genji in that series, but Genji still came out on top. I think it was really the difference of that one last team fight between Genji and Dom and Kia with Ruler being the difference maker, in my opinion, uh, just better AD carry than Duck Dom was and Dom and Kia in that team fight and Peanut really gaining, outgaining, uh, you know, Canyon's uh, jungling path and jungling advantages really um, throughout the series, even though I thought that was pretty close between Canyon and Peanut, whereas, you know, where we saw Canyon make a lot of plays, spectacular plays as well, but Peanut was very consistent. Um, and Chovy was probably the most consistent player in that series. Um, so I really like Genji's performance, even though Dalman Kia um, gave, them, gave them a really, really big fight um, in the series. So just given all of that battle tested Gen G going up against DRX, who played really, really well against EDG. Um in the LCK, you guys saw Gen G versus DRX and Gen G just destroyed DRX. I don't think that's gonna be the case here, but at the end of the day, I think in a best of five series, I'm gonna have to favor Gen G. Um, I'm gonna go with Gen G three to one as well. I think DRX um has a one one win in them. Um if if DRX wants to win. Piosik really has to play the ceiling game, like I said, um, you know, with some carry champion. I just feel like they don't have enough carry players like uh, King get King in and then Piosik. They're really the weakest parts of um, DRX. Um, I think Zika has been playing out of their out of his mind. Has been the best player for DRX. Um, and then in the bottom lane, Deft and Barrel have been decent. I think Deft has been okay, in my opinion. I think he's been solid but nothing more than that. Um, but whereas Ruler has such a high ceiling where he can make a lot of plays himself and, and same for and same for Chovy and same for Peanut. Um, and I think Doran in the top lane has been playing decent, And but I just think Doran and Kingen is a neutral eye, uh, neutral, you know, uh, you know, uh, battle there in, in the top lane. So I'm not too worried about that, but I'm going to have to give an edge to Peanut over Piosik. Chovy over probably Chovy and Zika are probably the same just based on the recent form. But in the bottom lane, I think is where the biggest difference is between Lehen's ruler uh versus uh, you know, like I said, Deft and Barrel. Um, I just feel like Deft and Barrel are not very proactive in making plays around the map, whereas Ruler and Lehens are. And I feel like <clears throat> you have to do that in the current meta. And that's how T1 and JDG have have come up as well. Um, along, you know, uh, with their jungler's help, respectively. So I'm going to have to go Genji wins three to one. Um, I think Ruler <clears throat> lay hands going to be the be the difference maker in team fights with the help of more consistent peanut over Pio Sick and jungle. That's probably where I'm going to be. And I think JD, like I said, um, so the the underdogs, I guess, in my predictions, JDG and DRX, for them to win, it's really gonna has to it really has to come through their junglers, right? Kanavi for JDG and Piosik for DRX. So from the DFS standpoint, if you are betting or you know playing fantasy sports on these two match uh, two series for semifinals, I would focus a lot on the winning team's junglers. And in terms of the pace of these two games. I'm going to have to say T1 JDG. Um, JDG games are, are just notoriously, um, JDG matches are notoriously high in kills. And I expect this series to be higher in kills over the 
LCK matchup in Gen G versus DRX. So anyway, I know this video was kind of short, but like I said, I'm heading to Atlanta today um, to go watch the semifinals uh, for the weekend. Um, it's going to be fun. Please uh, holler at me if you are going to be there. Otherwise, I hope um, you guys have fun watching these. It's going to be one of the highest, one of the most watched esports events um, of the year. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys bring your friends and maybe introduce your parents or your families to esports. Otherwise, yeah, um, it's gonna be exciting and fun. Um, hope our hope our predictions uh, hold up, and I hope our bets win. We all win. Um, but yeah, anyway, nonetheless, this video was sponsored by True DFS. So go check out True DFS on Twitter, on YouTube. Um, as you can see, they, you know, if you click on the channel below, uh, they provide contents um, for other sports and traditional sports and non-traditional sports as well. Um, yeah, it would mean a lot to me and to them uh, to for you to hit the like button below. I would greatly appreciate that or subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye bye.